welcome back with Havana People Sound. You are listening to the UK based podcast talking about all things Latin dance related. For today's topic, we're going to be discussing what kind of dancer are you? Grab your coffee, get comfy, let's start. kind of dancer are you? Basically, we're going to talk about influences and uh, how we can uh, find ourselves in the dancing uh, with the shines, routines and uh, like even solo dancing, freestyling. Everything can be part of your personality of your own dance. Let's start first of all to recognize which kind of styling of salsa we dancing or which kind of bachata we dancing means then first of all we need the knowledge for example i'm a cuban salsa dancer and cuban salsa teacher um, bachata we teach fusion and uh, dominican and modern so we know exactly the difference between all these styling we dance even a timba timba is another kind of style of cuban salsa song as well song we need the first to understand the difference between each style and knowledge every one of these style has an history and we should respect the history and respect the styling bond to these ones we can mix uh, some styling then basically are good to be fused but it's always because we understand the difference between them after that we understood the, the difference and uh, we have the knowledge of uh, Cuban salsa and timba for example we can actually apply the fusion between them and the fusion has to be in the right time with the right song not because oh I know this step of timba mm-hmm. and I want to use uh, in this uh, Cuban salsa song where there is no referment to uh, be up to apply no this, point. Uh, the point mm-hmm. to do it so what you're kind of saying is that you have to know the rules and learn the rules to be able to break exactly because the foundations are the most important. So that does require a little bit of research. It means that we have this fabulous tool called the internet, so we can use that. You can Google everything. Everything, YouTube, Instagram, every dancer, almost every dancer are on these or being filmed and being shown on these platforms. That means we have access to almost every style. There are access to lessons online as well. Do a little bit of research and find out what style you like. Or if you want, you can check our blog on our website avanapeoplesasa.co.uk when you find what you like and understand a little bit more about that style or those movements you can start to find the dances that are specific to the style you like or you can ask to your teacher yes if you are a student of course so you ask to your teacher and you want to go deeply to the style that you really like If your teacher can help you, of course he will. You can make private classes, then it will improve you a lot. Let me tell you guys, private classes always pay off. And uh, if he, your teacher can't help you because he's not the style that you want to do, example, Cuban salsa and your teacher teach New York style, means then you have to go and find uh, like resources on uh, YouTube or uh, another teacher if he's a local teacher or even uh, uh, to ask to your teacher if he can actually uh, give you some advice or local teacher than he knows and uh, basically go for the style that you want. And we highly recommend choosing one style to go into in depth, especially if you're a beginner. Yeah, for beginner, honestly, it's quite hard to identify the style because they are beginners, they focusing first to learn the steps. But if they are um, really quick to learn and, uh, you know, very ahead and they want to know about the knowledge um, of these styles and the difference, I always recommend to ask and make question or make research. For example, as a beginner, as a new dancer, you may not know that salsa has numerous different styles underneath the blanket word of salsa. And we 
are here to tell you. Son, Cuban salsa, timba, Puerto Rican tra traditional, New York, Los Angeles style, etc, etc. So we know the difference, we choose what we like, now why? Why? Because every dancer has to have the his own personality in dancing as well. If you are a funny guy, you will have a different kind of dance instead of someone else than is a serious guy, <laughs> okay? so. And that's what identify the different dancers. But to get to this point where you feel comfortable enough to put your personality into the dance, we have to learn and really be confident and comfortable with the foundations. Exactly. Think about going to dance and perform on the dance floor. We are basically need to improve ourselves every time. And if we have to look exactly as the others, we don't have anything that will push us forward to improve. That's why there is so many famous artists and they are amazing dancers because they push themselves so much and the, their personality is so strong then basically you can see through the dance movers if they what kind of person it is and I think that is a the extremely important point that make the difference between a normal artist and a good artist. Okay, and on that note, let's take a little break. We'll be back with you in five seconds. Grab another coffee. Welcome back with Havana People Sound. What we're going to talk about now is finding yourself as a dancer. We've got a couple of tips for you on how you can find yourself as a dancer. So first things first, I would recommend to increase the time that you practice and get creative with it. Put on some music that you really connect with or that you really yeah. enjoy and just move. As a warm-up, as a start, just move to the music how your body wants to. Leave under your uh, imagination, your creativity to basically to work on it exactly. without any limit. After a while you will create something that is unique and it's yours. It needs time, it needs experience, but like I said, is exactly the point that makes you improve mm. as a unique dancer. Mm. So don't be shy as well when we go to the social, after you found your, your signature moves, exactly. go and show them off. Don't be afraid that people are watching or judging. And don't compare yourself with other dancers either. So if you're a Cuban salsa dancer and everybody else around you dances crossbody and you want to show off your Cuban moves or some son or Afro rumba, again, don't be afraid and just be proud of your styling. Exactly. Of course, we have always to remember to respect the knowledge. Doing uh, a styling or um, a kind a of move. dance, <laughs> a move, then we know half or we don't basically know a lot of that move means nothing. We need to know all the musicality, all the history of uh, the, the routine and has to be part of ourselves. So has to be exactly in shoes mm. in our body. You want to, to arrive in your personal. practice to a place where it just comes out. Even uh, when uh, with the normal question, even someone else asks you, like, oh, what, you dance salsa? You have to specifically say which kind of style. It's your kind of personality. You know, there is an artist that they basically made a completely styling on the, their name, like Rolly Maiden style. It's a style of salsa and he's, he's personal one. Don't be afraid to answer, I'm not dancing only salsa, but I'm dancing Cuban salsa, uh, the casino or timba, or I'm dancing uh, crossbody, New York, Los Angeles. Mm. You, you have to be proud even to answer and make other people a knowledge. Mm, inspired the, even. Yeah, inspired even. By your passion. Your exactly. excitement. Exactly. That will make your personality uh, growing, growing, mm. and even as a artist. Yeah. Exactly. Just quickly, I want to broach the subject of copying. Now, copying is a perfectly normal and really good tool. On the beginning. In the beginning, yes. When you start to dance, 
You can learn signature moves or adjust movements from your teacher or your biggest influence and... A is a right. On the beginning yeah. is a right because uh, you need a reference. Mm -hmm. And you are uh, inspired by those artists or your teacher in itself. But what you can do is take that move home and work on it by yourself and try to find how it suits your body more than it does their body. Try to personalize it. Last thing, we have to be... We have to remember to stay humble and that we never stop learning and dance is always evolving and we have to evolve with it so thank you very much for listening to our podcast we davana people sound mariano and rian thank you guys if you want you can visit our blog on our website davana people salsa.co.uk thank you very much and see you next week with the next podcast with davana people sound, sound.